Well, welcome in this video and here we are going to get to what we call uh, statistics 2. And in statistics 2, we are going to start by or uh, with the, how we can find the mean of a given data using the assumed mean. In our previous videos, we have discussed about statistics and how we can find the mean using the formula summation of fx divided by summation of f. And here, we are going to find another way in which we can find the mean or x bar. So the mean can be also found by uh, a, we are going to just explain what a means, plus the summation of fd divided by the summation of f. So what does this term mean or all these term mean? Now a is where the assumed mean, the assumed mean. We are going to assume that the mean of this data from just, you can guess any value, but you don't guess an ambiguous value, you guess a, a reasonable value. For instance, for this data, you could say that the mean could be 65 or 69 or around 64 or 60. You cannot guess a value that is ambiguous or abnormal. You cannot say now that the mean for this data could be, say, a thousand or two thousand or so, because even the data itself cannot reach to that level. Therefore, the moment you assume a mean, you have to assume a reasonable mean. For you to assume a mean, you must have, or for you to assume a better mean, then we are going to work out the column for x, or the midpoint of each values. From there, then we can assume a given mean. So A, in this case, is the assumed mean. A represents the assumed mean. Now, D, D is a new term we are getting, or is a new a letter we are getting in statistics. D represents what we call the deviation from the assumed mean. So how is the, how, how is D, or how is your assumed mean uh, deviated from the x values that you have uh, just calculated in the x column? How are they deviated? So that is, uh, we are going to take the value of x, that is the middle point, and we subtract the assumed mean for each of these classes or for each of these frequencies and see how far are they, uh, are they deviated. Now F remains to be the frequency, the number of frequencies that we know, and now with that we are ready to work out the, an example uh, explaining more about the, how to find the mean using the assumed mean. Now to start with, we need to first of all calculate the midpoint. So the midpoint for each one of them, let me grab a calculator, we're going to work out the midpoint of each of these classes, and that's the uh, first one is 45 plus 49, and we divide by 2, that's going to be 47. Then for 54, add that to 50, 50 divided by 2, that is 52. And then we have the next one is uh, 55, 59. Uh, divide by 2, that's 57. And then if it's 64, add that to 60. And then we divide by 2, we get 62. You have to do it one by one. Because in statistics, we do not uh, really encourage uh, mistakes. The moment you make a mistake, then the whole data can be interpreted wrongly. And therefore, it is good. Even if you think a problem is too easy, it's good to use a calculator to confirm that it's the right thing you're doing. Because the human brain is prone to mistakes. So that is 69 plus 50, 65 you divide by 2, 67. You have 74 plus 70 divided by 2, that is 72. And lastly, we have 79, add that to 75, divided by 2, that is 77. So we have all the midpoints. Well, so for us to work out, then we need the assumed mean. So we are going to pick each one of these, at least one, so that we can use it as the assumed mean. So you could pick 77, you could pick 47, but I encourage you to be doing the best guess. Because even if you look at the, from 47 to 77, the best mean, the assumed mean that you could take is either 57, 62, or 67 there. Around there is the one that you can use as the assumed mean. So in our example, let us use the assumed mean in this case to be 62. So if you use 62 as the assumed mean, 
then we are going to find the deviation from the mean. So how is uh, how are these values deviated from the mean? And therefore we're going to take x minus a. So the first value is going to be x, which is 47, minus the assumed mean, which is 62. We get negative 15. And then the next one is going to be 52 minus 62. That is negative 10. And then we have 62 again minus 57. That is, um, no, sorry, that is 57, negative 5. And then we have uh, 62 minus 62 is 0. And then we are going to have 67 minus 62 is 5. 72. Uh, minus 62 is 10 and finally we have these as negative uh, positive 15 but let's confirm that 62 I told you is good if you can just use your calculator don't ignore or don't assume that you know because we don't need any mistakes now we are also supposed to work out the um, value of FD and you have to note one thing that if you add all the deviations the answer must be zero, always. That is if you want to confirm that you have made uh, the right thing. So remember, a positive five cancels out with a positive five and so on. The answer is going to be zero if you add them. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to multiply F multiplied by uh, D. So if you multiply F multiplied by D, that is negative 15 multiplied by three is going to be negative 45. 45. Next is uh, negative 70. Uh, next is negative 50. Next is 0 because 12 times 0 is 0. Then we have 40. And then we have 60. And finally, we have 150. So, what is the summation of those numbers? So, if you sum 150 plus 60, add that to 40, add that to negative 50. Add that to negative uh, 70, add that to negative 45, the answer is 85. 85. So now I think we have filled our table and we are ready to work out the mean. Remember, D was the deviation, deviation from midpoints. All right, and that is exactly what we have in this column. Those are the deviations. Now, to work out the mean, therefore, we are going to take the assumed mean, which is uh, 62, and we add that to the summation of FD, which is 85, and we divide by the summation of F. So we need to also know what the frequencies are. That's going to be 10 plus 6 is 16, plus 8 is 24, plus 12 is 36, 36 plus... 10 is 46, 46 plus 10 is 56. Just to check out, that is 16 plus uh, 20 plus 27 plus 3. Oh, that is 66. So 66. So x bar is going to be equal to 62 plus, if I take 85 divided by 66, 1.287 and uh, if I check out very well uh, again, that is 10, 20, 32, so this is 10, 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 16 is 56, so we have 56 here, so the summation here is 56 and uh, 85 divided by 56 85 divided by 56 is 1.5 so 1.5 1 8 and if you add the two then you're going to have 63.518 as your mean so x bar this goes to 63.518 and what do you notice 63 is close to 62 which is our assumed mean and therefore whenever you guess the assumed mean make sure you get it properly again this is the formula for getting the 
uh, mean using the assumed mean where a is the assumed mean you are going to assume it from the um, from the x values d is the deviations from how how are your values of x deviated from the mean that you have just guessed and then you proceed to find the summation of fd add them and then you apply the formula you get the mean that's how we do it please remember to like this video share and also subscribe